the assignment, the divine assignment given to us by Jesus, that's to Nigerian Christians, uh, is going to all the world in great speed. Now, I think about three uh, television stations were invited to carry this message of Christianity and the coming political or religious war to the whole country. We are going to get this country charged to let the people know that we are not the children of the born woman. We are the children of the woman of promise. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They shall fall. Amen. And we shall stand upright in this nation. So get your telephone and make record and begin to pass this message to everyone you can in the country. What I read to these people that you shall hear in AIT, you shall hear in national televisions, you shall hear. That is what I'm going to read out to you now. Record it, pass it forward. We're starting immediately as you go to your stage. Woe against the devil. Are you ready to record it with your phone? Let the media also record and begin to send it out to people. Right. Now, it goes. Revelation message from Jesus to Nigerian Christians. August 2018. Holiness revival movement worldwide is a proven and renowned ministry faithful to the Lord Jesus in biblical truth, righteousness, and holy living. In several ways, God has revealed to our generation that holiness revival movement is his ministry. Please check out on the need, on the doctrinal conviction, messages, practical holy living, and divine testimonies on this ministry worldwide. The presence of God is great among us in signs, wonders, revelations, and prophecies. Confirm on the need how God used holiness revival movement to deliver Nigeria from bloodshed and national war during Biafran agitation. Listen to God's revelation on Biafra on the need. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ has given us in holiness revival movement in the ongoing conference a revelation of what the enemy of God is about to do in Nigeria. According to the message from Jesus, Satan wants to inspire great battle against Christians in Nigeria. He is planning to kill Christians massively, including those in high positions, such as governors, members of national assemblies, state assemblies, and many others, in order to establish his religion in Nigeria. He is fast and ready in his plan, having prepared his machineries for
for this purpose. The Lord Jesus has mandated us to mobilize Christians of all denominations and ministries to arise quickly in prayer and fasting and to mourn before God to deliver them from I mean, to deliver them from the evil plan of the evil religious leaders. Jesus is Jesus has instructed that national crusade start the hour of mourning. Oh Lord, deliver Nigeria. Should be carried out all over Nigeria to bring people to repentance, righteousness, and holiness. He has commanded top Christians in Nigeria, governors, members of state and national assemblies, and assemblies to arise boldly and declare their support for this great assignment. This is seen in Joel chapter 3. Let those in contrary faith and religion know that Jesus is Lord and King over Nigeria. A no devil or political leader can unseat him and his people in Nigeria. Nigeria is chosen of God for end time revival of truth, righteousness and holiness. Fear not Christians, be united in this divine mission. We shall win over the devil. Pass the message forward. And we are following this mission, message with action. We want enemies of God to know that we are not cowards here. Angels shall fight for his people. Are you afraid? Are you afraid? No. Count it down. Demons have, have evacuated from Nigeria. Yeah. The thought of the wicked is averted. God has answered our prayers. Yeah. Rise up upon your feet and celebrate. Victory is surely our own. Victory is surely ours. Make a joyful noise before the Lord. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea on the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea hallelujah says we should not fear he says we should not worry he said we should trust him Jesus says all shall be well hallelujah hallelujah I say Jesus says we should not fear he says we should not worry. He says we should trust him. Jehovah says all shall be well. Amen. Amen. Oh yes. 
said all shall be well oh yes thank you father oh yes thank you lord jesus oh yes thank you holy ghost i believe all shall be well oh yes amen believe jesus amen oh yes amen. i say oh yes thank you father oh yes thank you lord jesus oh yes thank you holy i believe all shall be well amen thank you amen